this one. It's top five time. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Heavy Repping. My name is John Tron Davidson and I'm here once again in our super best, very hot, not the, all that comfortable test location in the southwest of England. So I realised that I hadn't done a top five for a while and seeing as it is the summer months I thought it would be quite fun to do a little top five of some of the picks that have come through the office in the last wee while. Now as I said it's not especially cool in here and I have to have the window open so you can hear all the seagulls uh, even though we're inland but uh, there's also a constant going and that is this meaningless desk fan that I have just off to my right hand side here so please forgive that intrusion. However it has been a particularly thrilling uh, summer when it comes to picks and obviously with heavy repping not existing this time last year uh, I've really been wading in um, properly deep into the Plectroverse and finding some unbelievable things. So this is just a little video to say these are the ones that I've found that have really lit me up over the last few months. So let's go and introduce the contenders. So Plectrum number one that I have just enjoyed so so much is actually a revisiting of an old friend. It is this. This is the Dragonheart original. Now, I've covered Dragonheart a fair bit on the channel before, and for a long time, one of my favourite picks was the Hardened Heart. But this is, so far, this is the the Columbo's trench coat of Dragonhearts. It's so good. Like it's, the grip is great. The tone is great, it's really purposeful, it's really strong, but it doesn't have too much push. Um, it doesn't chirp, it doesn't do any of these things. This is, to date, one of the best picks I've ever come across. Uh, genuinely, if you're looking for somewhere to get into Dragonheart and you're not sure where to begin, normally I would recommend the Faux series because they're a bit less expensive and you can get the Thermoplastic ones really good. The Golden Dragon is excellent. Um, and I've talked about that a fair bit before uh, on the channel, but this, so good, so good. So, let's have a listen and hear how it sounds. <laughs> Number two is a bit of an odd outside choice actually, but it's responsible for one of my favourite photographs uh, on the Instagram of this year, and that is this. This is the Taylor Thermex Ultra. These are the 1.25mm efforts, and for acoustic work especially, I'm not I'm not big into these for electric, um, but for as an acoustic plectrum, this is so good. It's got loads of body. It's got hardly any string noise, it's slightly dead at the front, so you get this like really nice bloom. Um, they look really cool as well, and to date, that material is very, very tough. So we shall see how that happens in the coming months. I'm going to start doing longevity tests quite soon, uh, of just playing pick, the same pick over and over and over and over and over and seeing what happens to it in real time. But uh, we'll come on to that presently. However, for the time being, if you're looking for a great strumming tool particularly, I, out of my whole collection, I would struggle to top this. So, highly recommended. Let's give it a shout.
Pick number three out of which I have had an incredible amount of enjoyment um, recently is this. This is the uh, Plex Azui and this is the first one that I've had from Pedro that's been made from Tagawa. Uh, obviously harking back to last week's video, Tagawa is one of my favourite materials for plectrums, but this pick particularly, mate, I, honestly, I, <laughs> I got two picks off him at the time, uh, and the other one is Delrin, and no disrespect, but this is such a monster, I've barely looked at it. It's so nice to use, and even though it's really round and you can see that it's not the sharpest of things, it's his take on the stubby, uh, it's got so much pop and body, and it's got this real, like, joie de vivre about it. Um, I love this. I just genuinely I think this is an amazing piece of equipment. So, without further ado, let's hear how it sounds. Coming in now to the very, very recent past, and this is a pick that looks like nothing, but sounds like everything. This is The Force. Uh, this comes from Ace Performance Picks. Now, with all these plectrums, they haven't had a full fat review, but I'm gonna be doing that on top at heavyrepping.com. This one is 1.7 millimeters thick. It's not the thickest plectrum I've ever owned. Uh, it's the second thickest here, but this humble little red thing with its slightly pronounced tip and it's like it's kind of like a it's kind of like a Jazz XL but it's a little bit taller. I can't remember what material this is made from. Uh, Anthony did tell me. Shout outs to Anthony Ace Performance Books for sending these over. But this picks one of the most enjoyable picks I've had all year. Um, I've waxed lyrical about these others and of course I am excited about them, but this, I think partly because it's, with the best will in the world, such a non-event to look at. The grip is exceptionally good. It's not in your way, it's not too cloying or anything, it's just there. And one of the things that was really interesting was I was playing through my little um, keyboard amp that I use in the house and uh, when I switched from this to something else, the, the day I got them, I switched from this to something else and uh, without changing any of the settings, without changing guitar, anything like that and I was, it was like I'd taken a step back there's so much, I mean it's called the force for a reason right, there's so much power in this but it's all usable power and it's really, really focused. Um, I can't remember what the material's called, it starts with a T uh, and it's just him and one other company that do it, but man alive, is that a thing? So, book by the cover and all that, let's have a listen to how it sounds. cheat a little bit here if I'm honest. Uh, this is a double header if you like and th the reason for that is because I had a very very hard time deciding between these two picks. 
Uh, they are both in here for different reasons, but they're from the same company. And so I thought it was only fair to put them both in. So I'm going to talk about these two. This is the Midtech Blade and the Ultima from Plextrum. These are very, very different things. This looks like it wasn't finished properly. And this is a big lad at 9mm with these magnificent, outrageous optics. Check it out. Yeah. So the reason why these are both here is this is here because it sounds great and also it's one of the most magnificent looking plectrums I've ever owned or seen. Uh, great looking bit of gear and it was very kind of Corey to give me the optic upgrade when I bought the Ultima. Uh, I think it is a phenomenal looking piece of equipment and I was just thrilled to own it. It's, um, I like the optic grip and I bring this out of work all the time and not a single person says, oh my god, you know, they're all like, what is that? Like, how do you use it? And I say, just give it a go. And you play an acoustic with it and then you go back to your pick and it sounds like your pick is, you know, playing through a bucket in the other room. So that is a fantastic piece of equipment. However, this, the blade, which is a bit of a, funny looking thing. Uh, you've got a rounded end here and then you've got a pointed end here and when I got this, this has got the whole tarantula's bottom feel right because it's mid-tech which is like a UHMWPE thing but I spent a lot of time playing with this and if you want to have, if you're doing ambient stuff especially which I do quite a lot of and you hear it in all the backing tracks on the channel and you want that warm bloom to come out, especially on electric. I've started to, I mean, UHMWPE doesn't wear particularly, but I've started to get a little bit of a shiny patch on this edge because it's just so graceful to use. This is not a pick for shredding or, you know, ripping up the fingerboard or whatever. It is a pick for considered elegance and for that reason alone it's going on, but also I love, I love the sound of it. I love the sound of it. So let's hear how both these items sound using the stick board and well. So I hope you've enjoyed this little top five and uh, I'll be back next week with more news from the Plectroverse. If there is a brand or a company or a model that I haven't checked out yet and there's bound to be, I'm only one guy and uh, I can't get through everything. But if there's anything you would like to see, please do give me a shout at Heavy Repping on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook or you can hit me up through heavyrepping.com or on here, leave me something in the comments. I shall read all of them, I promise, and uh, I'll, do what, I'll do what I can, when I can. In the meantime, my name is John Tron Davidson, this is Heavy Repping, and I'll see you soon. And just remember, if you're not sure what to do in life, rep hard, rep heavy.